more safe we're going, the further we glad all of our people that's with us tonight. John will you back there. So glad you're with us. Glad you and thankful to have Mary back with us. Glory to God. I thought maybe as I was praying today, just begin to lay upon my heart. And I, I want you to know tonight that I've got no rocks in my pockets. Uh, nobody told me anything, but I've got this scripture and I've got a fire in my bones. I want to make it. I want to make it home. This world is not my home. We don't belong down here. We're, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. In the book of Isaiah, in the 59th chapter, The Bible said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. Neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not here. Just pray for me tonight that I can do this the way that the Lord would let me bring it. I thought maybe uh, maybe the Lord gonna let me take this somewhere else, but the more I felt tonight, the more I felt here and now. I thought maybe as I was talking to the Lord. Now I talk to the Lord just, just like I talk to anybody else. Only I can share more with Him than I can others. I can trust Him in things maybe that I can't trust others with. I thought as I began to talk to the Lord about how this, this darkness that is upon the church world. Now, children, there is a power of darkness that is moved in. Yes, God. Continues to move in. I, I began to talk to him about Reba and others. I don't want to offend nobody. Others in the church that, that need help. And seemingly that that there's so much trouble in this land. There's so much that is working. So much power that is seemingly trying to choke out the life from the people of God. We're losing our elders. Every elder in the church has a little bit of light that the Lord has given them. We are that seed that He set on the hill. That Jesus said it cannot be His. If you and I have got the Lord, we can't hide Him. You can see you know a child of God when you see one. I'm going to take my time to talk to you. And I thought as I began to talk to the Lord, and I felt faith in my heart. There's so many that have got this lie that the devil has sold to the people of God. That God doesn't move no more. That God does not move like He used to move. He's lying to our people, Freddie. 
and saying that God just ain't going to work no more like He used to. And I'm here to tell you tonight that God has still got the same power that He's always had. Amen. God is still God. He was God before this world was born. And He will still be God when this world is a lake of fire moved out of His place. He'll still be God. Uh, there's some that say that God don't heal no more. I'm here to tell you tonight that there is still a healing power of God. God still is the keeper of mine and your soul. He still has power over the enemy. Amen. I'm going somewhere. I'm not here to accuse nobody tonight. I'm here just to bring this the way laid up on my heart. Children, the Lord is not lacking anywhere. He doesn't need sleep. He don't fall asleep. There's never been a trial come upon me that has scared the Lord. There's never been anything that has come up suddenly and surprised the Lord. He knows it before it's going to take place. He knows the heart and mind of the devil himself. He knows his plans and his plots. I begin to lay there on my face and talking to the Lord. How that enemy is lying to the people of God and convincing people that that power just won't move. Glory to God. Got good news. I didn't know it till I got to church tonight, but I thought got good news. Uh, homecoming today. The report I got sounds to me like God is still moving. Yes, he is. Like he one time moved. Yes. I'm going to preach to you tonight. You're just going to have to pray for me. Yes. Yes. I told him, Isaiah began to speak. And he began to say, Behold, which means look. Look, children, and understand that the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save. God still is in the same business. God still is able to save me and you out of our storms and out of our trials. He began to say, neither is His ear heavy that it cannot hear. God still saves and God still hears. I want you to look with me tonight at the next verse. He said, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid His face from you that He will not hear. Glory to God. You may say tonight, say, Preacher, I've got no sin in my life. Let me stop before I go any further. Therefore, to him that knows to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. All right. We're looking for this, that, and the other. And I'm telling you tonight as I go further, I want you to examine yourself. And I want you to understand what the Lord is trying to tell His people. God is still holy. He's still pure. He cannot be defiled. Glory to God. He is not weak. He is Almighty God. He is still Almighty God. And I'm here tonight to tell me and you where the shortness is coming up. It's in me and it's in you. Glory to God. Just pray for me. I can bring this the way I feel in my soul. We're looking around and saying, God, where are you? He's still standing on the straight way. He's still on that highway of holiness. Where somewhere along the way our people have got sidetracked and allowed their sins, their iniquities, to separate between them and their God. Children, I'm here to tell you tonight you can get your soul in a shape 
that God absolutely will not hear you when you call upon Him. That's the truth. Glory, glory, glory. Help him Just God. pray for me. Help him, Help him God. We all get sick. Yeah. That's a part of life. We get sick. Yeah. But sometimes, children, we're afflicted. Come on. Good, listen to me. When we get to that place that we can't pray it off of one another. Come on, come on. Listen to me. The Bible teaches me that if there's any sick among us, to let them call for the elders. That they would anoint them with all. That they would pray that prayer of faith. And it would heal the sick. Yeah. Yeah. Save them if they committed any sin. Right. It would be forgiven them. But I thought it went on another, right in the same place. Yeah. Those that's afflicted, let him pray. Let him pray. Let him pray. There's times we can pray for one another. There's times we got to stop and say, where did I get sidetracked? Where? What is this that I have allowed to separate between me and my God? Children, I'm just going to talk to you tonight and you listen to me. I want you to listen to what the Lord has given me. God does not move in vain. God does not play. He does not play games with me and you. But when God sends something, somebody needs to hear what the good Lord sends by our way. God is still able to move for men and women. He is still able to deliver His children. Amen on me. But many of the children of God are not living in the place that God has taught them to live. Amen. And amen. I feel like preaching to you. Glory to God. Just, just listen to me. I know where I'm at and I know who give it to me. And I know that we're not careful. These little things, it's not the big things. Listen to me. It's not we're going out and robbing banks and killing people. But it's those little things that we say that don't matter. It's those little things that we say that was just the old folks. That's just the way they believed it. And we don't have to live that way no more. I'm here tonight to tell you what work will still work. We ain't had nothing but trouble since our people began to bargain and compromise with the devil. We had nothing but sickness and death and dying and destruction. Ever since our people began to sit down, talk it over with the wrong man. These little things are devouring the glory of God out of our lives. These little foxes that we allow in our lives. Don't sit down tonight and tell me that the devil made you do something. Because the devil cannot make you as a child of God do anything wrong. Amen. Amen. You know when I sin, Pat, when I choose to disobey God, when I choose to stretch forth my hand and touch that that He said leave alone, when I continue to speak, when He said be quiet and hold your peace, glory to God. Don't tell me tonight the devil made you do it. 